interwebs. Well, I've been trying to record a, a reply to October Boys. I have a question for the evolutionists and cosmologists video. And uh, he asked the question, if work is the reason why the Big Bang was successful in creating the Sun, Solar System and Earth, then what work was produced before the Big Bang happened for it to even start? The Big Bang Theory says nothing about what happened before or even immediately at the point of the Big Bang. Uh, this is used by a lot of creationists to say, well, where did all the stuff for the Big Bang come from? Big Bang Theory says nothing about this. And you know, if the Big Bang Theory was shown to be false tomorrow, I don't care. There's been several theories about how the universe came to being, but I promise the one I'm never going to go for is that God said let there be light and divide the earth from the sky in seven days created 15 billion light years radius of the universe. There are problems with lots of theories. Like I say, the Big Bang Theory is fairly limited in what it says and what happened before makes no mention of. But we can be fairly certain that the universe was once much closer together because it's all flying apart right now. We can observe microwave background radiation around about 3 degrees Celsius above absolute zero, 5 degrees Fahrenheit above absolute zero. And the wrinkles in this background radiation match that of Big Bang Theory. So the theory looks pretty good. But like I say, if tomorrow some competing superstring theory of intersecting four dimensional brains comes into being, great, we'll go with that if that's what the scientists believe. I'm not invested. But I I do find some of the things that Christians say weird. I find your video quite um, well, distracting in that you would use words like the law of entropy, which I don't think exists. I think there's a second law of thermodynamics, but I don't think there's a law of entropy. You're saying things like your, Christ, your professor asks, how are Christians wrong when they say that the law of entropy proves that the Big Bang is impossible? You know, I don't believe that really happened. I don't think any professor in the States, I presume that's where you live, would even dare mention how Christians are wrong. Um, and I doubt a professor would also use the words law of entropy, because uh, I don't think that exists either. You get to some Christian sites and they say things like evolutionists hate to even discuss entropy. Well, they probably would, seeing as how evolution is a biological theory and entropy is physics and they're different sciences. It's a bit like saying a cancer researcher hates to even discuss metal fatigue. Well, of course they would. It's nothing to do with them. And uh, evolutionist. I guess if there was some religion that had a problem with gravity, they'd call me a gravitationalist. Peace.